prove it for himself, you're gonna feel sorry for yourself because that fish is not gonna make it. Okay? So it's a very dangerous strategy to fill in with the hose. Safer you take it to the top of water for a fast trip. Your water raise out two inch, you drain out, you bike wash, you do water give it at two inch. Let it continue to do that. You are continue change, but your fish won't tell the difference. It's a 24-7 new water comes in through the entire growing period. Which is from middle of April to somewhere around middle of November in California. Okay, any question at this point? Okay. The new water is so important for fish. If a Japanese breeder put fish in the mud pond, if there's no incoming water, that fish is not growing. Why? Because the fish release pheromone among themselves. Now the pond becomes so crowded, they feel they're crowded because the pheromones are built up. You need to keep on diluted by changing out. So up to 10% daily, your pond water change. It's important. Strong current, strong oxygen, important. But on top of all, your filter has to be big. Okay? If your filter is not big, don't feel bad. Just don't get that, don't get too many fish, don't feed too much, just make them maintain nice and nice and steady growth. And then I would suggest you get a male fish. Why? Male fish you don't need to feed colorful. It's just like all the animals, male also prettier. <laughs> right? You don't need to feed the color, they're gonna get red. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but female have a better confirmation. Oh, see, we we make everybody happy, right? The reason a lot of people want a female, small pond female, female female, everybody coming back and it's male female. You know what I'm thinking? If you don't, t you can't tell male female what's the difference. <laughs> Seriously, what's the difference? Some dealer I know, if you show up, ask me male female, I know you like male, I tell you the male. She is a female, she like female, I tell you the female. I know a lot of dealers do that, but why? Okay, I think you should choose a male female by size of your pond. I have a customer call me here. Do you carry Sakai dining show? Oh, there's a jumbo line. How big is it? 500 gallons? Oh, why even bother? Jumbo line, go to your house, save meat you anyway. Right? Because you have no hardware for it. So don't feel bad. Every pond is a good pond. You just need to figure out what's the best out of it. What is the limit you have it? Just push to the limit. Don't go over. Okay? So if you have a smaller pond, I have a one small pond, 890 gallons. I'm not kidding you. If you can find a Koi USA 20 year anniversary issue, I grow 45 little fish, uh, 4 or 5 inch. When I grow out a fish, you see the head, you see barely see the tail. That's a 5 inch. Well, I got 45 fish in 890 gallons of my lady pond. From 12 inch to 24 inch, 10 feet, 4 feet, and 7 feet curve. All sloped down to 2 feet. 890 gallons. Somebody told me, Andy, your fish grow fast because your pond is big. I'm thinking, well, my, I have a German Shepherd puppy. In my house, they grow very big, 120 pounds. My friend took one to his house. His house twice as big than mine, but the damn dog is smaller. <laughs> so it's not how big is your house, it's how you feed them. So I took all the water lilies out and get it cleaned up. We put in 45 little fish. Exactly five months growth. Average, overall average, 14.01. Okay. So average go 9.01 inch. If the starting point is five. If it is starting four, five less, but we just say five, easy to calculate. The biggest one, 18 and three quarter, three quarter bigger than a grand champion fish. 45 fish in 890 gallons. If I can do it, you can do it. The difference is strong current, fresh water, lot of food, and strong filter. That's the only thing the difference, right? But you don't have to go like any. And it's crazy. Any little so he wants to be big. I mean, everyone says, I force feeding. I never force me. I never open their mouth, shovel food in. I never do that. <laughs> they eat whatever they're able to handle, right? So if you have a smaller pond, all you have to do is limit the number of the fish you have, and then maybe start rotating, have a better fish. I'm not quite sure everybody's standard. The way I look, the trees in my house, all fruit tree. Why? If I have a ready to leave water and, and then clean up the mess, I want some fruit for return. So if you have a 10 fish, why you have a 10 so-so fish instead of a 5 nicer fish? Because sooner or later you're going to hear somebody say, oh, I have a friend with a lot of fish, you know, all champion fish, and he comes to your house, oh, your fish look better. Isn't it make you feel better? He's going to come to your house, oh, wow, a bunch of you know what. Right? So feel nice stuff. That's my philosophy. So if you select few nicer ones, especially I suggest you get the male. The reason people don't like male fish because the male fish grow long and grow skinny. 
They don't have a confirmation. You ever thought about why? Most animal males are bigger than female, right? Except koi. I don't know why. Anyway, I'll tell you why. When you're in a smaller pond, when you throw the food in there, all, food will be all in one, one area. Male fish have a very interesting eating habit. They come up, eat a couple of pellets, go down, swim around, and come back up, eat a few more, go down, swim around. What's the female does? Like a Pac-Man, right? <laughs> when he's go down, she's eating. She come out eating, she's still eating. He go down, she's still eating. That's why female go a lot fatter than a male. So if you only have a male, so what? One, two, three, up, one, two, three, down, everybody eats in a mouth. Now you're able to administrate your 3%. Because if you put in 3% for the whole pack, female eats 5%, male got eat 1%. That's why he don't grow. So if you have a old male fish in a smaller pond, I think will do a lot better for you. You'll be a lot happier. You don't need feed colorful. Colorful twice as more than regular food. Because the male gonna turn red no matter what. So if you feed colorful, all you do is mess up a white on the face. Right? All you feed very little. You can feed krill, fresh dried right krill, all this little thing that will make it enough red. And white stay nice white. Okay? Now let me brush a little bit on the colorful. A lot of people go to the koi show. I know a lot of people go to the koi show. When you go to the koi show, you see a lot of female, everything's nice but not red. How are you gonna win if it's not red? Right? Most of the judges that come around, they will, whoever red will attract, attract them. Otherwise, they, they're not gonna have a red, the stop light, stop light or stop sign with a red. They can use the orange. Orange is not as attractive as red. So in order for your fish to get red, you need to feed colorful. Whether you like it or not, if you want to go to Croatia to do well, unless you have an old male, the female got to feed colorful. Colorful is a technique all by themselves. Tell me the last four or five years, try, finally figured out a way to, to put in enough, but not too much. Colorful kind of like wine. When you feel you're drunk, I mean you're really drunk. You'll be sorry tomorrow morning. So when you reach, a, say, one to ten, you reach an eight, eight and a half stop. Well, keep on kicking. Same as colorful. When you feed a fish, say if you go to the koi show, you have a 20 fish in the pond. You're gonna take five to the koi show. Out of that five, one will have a chance to win biggest prize for you. Best in size, best mature, best young, whatever. So that will be the one you're looking for. You feed colorful till that fish 80, 85% color up and stop. If it's not enough, so sorry. Because she's gonna win the biggest prize for me, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna bring all my fish go to the show, okay, all the second and third. At least give me first place or, or bigger, right? So that fish is gonna win the biggest price. That's the main character you're gonna look for. You feed a colorful, you feed, the way we feed, you throw the hand, everybody come up to eat. In that case, we can throw more cock right in front of her or him to get the colors up. But keep in mind, most of the colorful is a, is a spirulina. It's kind of, it's blue algae, it's harder for them to digest. So you need to taper your koi food into the colorful. So let's say you use a, say if you use a high fin, right? High fin is a 32% protein. Colorful is a 38 or 40%. So you, when you decide to change, which is usually July sometime, when your water temperature is 72 degrees or warmer. So what you do is a 70% your original food, 30% colorful. Every four or five days, one week, 10% more, 10% less. Till you're 100%. 100% on colorful about six to seven weeks, whatever your, the best fish are ready enough, stop and taper back up. You need at least, at least one growing month after you feed colorful. Why? If you mess up, let them burn up. Let them catch up. If you feed your cover too much all the way to October, that fish is gonna stay brown for the rest of winter. You have no chance of bringing back. But if you start colorful till somewhere around September, you still have October and part of November to let them grow a little more, stretch it out, get the brown clear. Okay, so colorful is very important and technique is a little different. Vegetable citrus. You always feed them citrus. Don't feed them watermelon. Watermelon red doesn't mean they're gonna bring that fish red. They have nothing to do with it. Watermelon today may just water. Okay? They have no nutrition value.